Good morning, Tiffany Fellowship Church. Good to see you in the house today. And good to see you online. Thank you for joining us in whatever capacity you are. And we, we want to just remind you there is no judgment here. If you're enjoying our service online, that's great. Please feel free to do that until you feel confident enough to, and safe enough to join us in person. Before I get into the message this morning, I want to make a statement, a brief uh, statement about uh, the recent racial violence. Um, unfortunately, truth is sometimes stranger than fiction. I find it ironic and sad that in our country today, we will s sympathetically and sacrificially shut down the economy and virtually confine ourselves to our homes to protect the less than 2% of our population who are at risk of being killed by the COVID virus and yet stand by and do virtually nothing sympathetically or sacrificially to save and protect a portion of our population who are at risk of being killed by racial injustice and police brutality. What happened to Ahmad Arbery and George Floyd is evil and indefensible from any perspective. And it is a symptom of a deeper racism that still persists in our country today. It is one thing to condemn it, which I do, and another thing to confront it and to convert it. In a, re a recent online streaming event on this topic, Dr. Anita Phillips, an African-American mental health professional, said, and I quote, I can't do better if I don't know better. So in an attempt to help us all here at Tiffany Fellowship Church to know better and thereby do better, I am putting together a panel that will include several African-American members of our church. I've already talked to several and have plans to talk to several more. To talk to us about the racism that they experience and how they are feeling in the light of recent racial violence in our country. I will ask them what we can do to help heal this disease of racism and what we can do to take action against it. We will record this discussion and we will stream it and post it on our YouTube channel. So I would ask everyone to stay tuned for details of that event. I'd like to call and encourage every single member and attender of Tiffany Fellowship Church to prayerfully allow the Holy Spirit to examine our hearts and to confront and convict us of any hate and prejudice and discrimination that is found inside of us. Let's pray together. Lord, you, you said in your word that <clears throat> that in Christ, there is no male or female. There is no Jew or Gentile. There is no slave or free. Lord, there is no racial distinction in Christ. That we all bear your image and your likeness. We all have value. Value enough that God, you sent your son Jesus to die for every single human being. And so, Lord, for the violence and the hatred that exists in our country today, I pray, God, that you would begin to heal our land. Heal our land as only you, by the power of the Holy Spirit, can. I stand here today as a pastor frustrated because often at times I don't know what to do. But you, by your Holy Spirit, you're the great Redeemer and the great healer, and so you can heal our land. And I echo the words of Scripture and the words of Pastor Dave this morning as he stood 
in this platform and quoted the scripture from 2 Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Help us, God, to approach your throne and to approach this issue with humility and prayer. And God, please, heal our land. In Jesus' name, amen.